Masterclass. Now, Masterclass, what is it, you might be asking? Uh, masterclass, it's all about showing you something and giving you that one-on-one -on -one, um, education from the beginning to the end uh, and showing you all about it. So it's that amazing Masterclass, which people love. Uh, we have hundreds and hundreds of you watching uh, Masterclass across the world uh, and you absolutely love them. It's the one show that you all say that you love the most and you save those shows uh, because they are all about those specifics. Uh, now, it is um, a masterclass. You're probably wondering what the masterclass is on if you didn't join us this morning for Wake Up Call. Uh, it's all about paint fusion. Now, paint fusion, I'm not going to say too much about it because I'm going to let our guests do all the talking on it. Uh, but I was absolutely wowed um, on uh, Wake Up Call as much as you all were. Uh, I'm going to be asking uh, some more questions about it because I'm absolutely uh, enjoying everything about paint fusion. 
and, and everything that comes with it. Uh, now, talking about what comes with it, we do have some amazing things on the show today. Uh, if we've also got a category on the website. Uh, if you go across that, you've uh, we've got a code, but I will tell you all about that as well. Um, but let's say hello to the lady herself. Uh, she is amazing at what she does. Uh, she's the most talented artist that I have ever come across. I could watch her for absolutely hours and we could chat to her for absolutely hours. Uh, in fact, you know what I'm like, uh, mm -hmm. Sheena's worse worse than me um she talks so much i mean i can't get a word in edgeways i'm only joking uh, welcome <laughs> sheena douglas excuse <laughs> me but it is a fake um, it's the truth it is it's like there, there is no air left already in the I, I always feel like we just put the worlds to rights don't oh, we oh it's like the planets collide on the talking today isn't it you've been warned seriously and we have so much in common bad feet oh, bad ears I we mean. had a <laughs> lovely night comparing ailments. <laughs> Turns out we're completely symmetrical. Absolutely. And a bit like yin, yin and yang. We've got a blonde version and I a know, dark version. I know. Uh, we're both limping on the same side. <laughs> we can't hear on the same side. So it's going to be a great show. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sheena, Paint Fusion. Yeah. Um, it's amazing. Wow. Uh, you know what? It's, um, it's when you've been crafting a long time, I yep. to, and I've been crafting forever, as long as I can remember, yep. from being a little one. Um, I, I mentioned this last week. When I, um, my dad was a printer, so old-fashioned printing. So every day, he would bring me home little off-cut scraps of card, papers, coloured cards. Yeah. I was so lucky. It was like I had a little craft shop at, at home yeah. every day. So that meant I started drawing and colouring and painting because my parents would also buy me colouring products, paints, acrylic paints even when you know kids weren't even using yep. acrylic paints or oil paints i had them at like an early age so it's just been around me forever yes and because i am that person who's crafting saying that and qualifying it if it's fabric i'm not your woman <laughs> oh fabric you put a bit of card down and it behaves it goes nowhere <laughs> fabric you, i'm chasing it every, oh don't even so card and paper and things yeah I'm, that's great fabric not so much but the the point being because that's been my life, yep. um, you gather things as you go. Of course. And, and it's all along that same theme of paint and painting and decorative painting. Decorative painting 30 odd year ago, 30 yes. years upcycling you know when um it was it was a big thing for stenciling and all these things Absolutely. and within that umbrella was folk art or decorative painting. Yep. And it's what this is, this folk art umbrella, is a, a style of painting that is centuries old. It is nobody living invented folk art or decorative painting. Mm -hmm. We use it differently today. We use it in different ways, but this is centuries old and it's developed in different ways throughout the globe. So in the UK, you'll think of um, folk art as tall wear, um, tree or le or castles and roses, which is another name for, yeah. or barge painting. You know, when you see the canal boats yes. and caravans as well, and they're, they're painted with these gorgeous, um, like, comma strokes that mm -hmm. make up a rose, Debbie. Um, that's the style that kind of evolved in the UK as an easy, teachable, decorative way to paint things, make them look bonny, but also preserve, because you would paint tin, and it would be enamel at the time. So you painted tin, mm -hmm. enamel, you'd use enamel paint to decorate it, but it was making it pretty, but at the same time stopping it rusting and corroding. So wow. that was a practical yeah. use. In Europe, it, it was different again. And they had more of a flamboyant, kind of, you'll see lots of roses, lots of flourishes, lots of um, uh, much more ornate look, like rose mailing look. If you, if you look at rose mailing, gorgeous things. And they used more um, flat brushes than round often. Yep. And they would put more than one paint color on that flat brush to right. give it a different technique. As Anyone who paints will have done that at some point. That's yeah. just what, what we yeah. do anyway. But in a folk art style, it was taught in a simple kind of formulaic way, if yeah. that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So that um, if you've never picked up a paint, I'm not an artist. You know, there's, there's people who do that naturally, and that's what they do. Yeah. But this is for people who aren't artists, who yes. don't, haven't particularly wanted to draw, can't draw, don't, don't have no interest in drawing. Yeah. Painting also, it's actually a, a benefit to not have those things because you tend to want to paint in a folk art style the way you would 
a different normal painterly style yeah and it's different you're letting you're letting the tools do the job for you which is great but stamping was my other love stamping from oh, so many many years ago my first shows on tv were 18 years ago stamping love stamping then drawing stamps and so the two i brought them together and made it a fusion because nothing is new everything's been everything you know seriously of course. so but what i haven't seen is anyone bring stamping and court mm -hmm. together yeah and that's what I've done and created a, a system called paint fusion where the stamps help you paint so that underneath the painting and the painting is easier because of the stamps they're what giving you the shape line. instead of exactly yes. exactly and but then you can put the stamp on top again if you want for more decoration yeah. and embellishment so hence the fusion and within the fusion we're bringing in more things we mm -hmm. discovered we're playing this morning we're using those crazy cat pens yep what do they call flip markers flip but markers. to me they will forever be crazy <laughs> cat pens just saying those gorgeous colors the metallic markers anything in you can bring that's what paint fusion is a fusion of traditional four car painting with modern stamping and other techniques and, and materials brought in that's oh i that's can talk you're right i can talk i know see i told you i wasn't lying i mean seven minutes she didn't let me get a word in <laughs> but you know what sheena what i love about what everything you've just said is uh it what, bringing those two together makes it achievable for so it's, many people that was the main purpose yeah. because i used to teach folk painting mm -hmm. folk art painting um you know using the comma stroke using the flat brush using different styles yeah and when you do it that way you are really just depending on your skill with the paintbrush yes, of course. and refining and I went to it I went to a show oh I don't know how many years ago but it was a big um painting like mm -hmm. folk painting oh, gathering wow. and um and I was I, there was ladies there and they were asking people do you want to try to make paint a comma stroke and I painted this comma stroke and then and then it was being analysed for how good the tail was on the comma stroke and <laughs> was the angle at that precise 47 <laughs> point something degree oh, with the wow. tail. I was like, whoa. <laughs> so, but to get that precision, you know, it's like, um, it's like when you cook. Yep. A simpler recipe has to be done well, doesn't it? You've got nowhere to hide. You yep. can't hide it with a spice ring. With that type of painting, each brush stroke counts and the placement counts and this is the placement where the stamps really really help you. absolutely and because they're there those brush strokes don't need to be as perfected oh i absolutely love that and i love hearing that story mm. about paint fusion so uh, we are going to get over to sheena very soon to to uh, for her to show us exactly how to use the paints and how to use those stamps together and believe me if you didn't see this morning's show it is very easy to follow uh, there's a cheat sheet and everything which i absolutely love uh, right now talking about stamps we have the most amazing stamps uh, we've got our new Sheena stamps which are beautiful 40 percent have already gone of these stamps uh, in our one showing this morning so you're absolutely loving them so the first one I'm showing you here is the poppies um, we've got the rose now wait till you see if you didn't see the demo this morning the demo on the rose is outstanding it's just beautiful and believe me when I tell you that it is achievable for everyone one uh, the lilac another beautiful one and actually Sheena these stamps are just good in their own right well, that's the point as well so even if you get the stamps and you think oh I haven't quite perfected that stroke yet while you're learning that stroke you've just got good stamps to use yeah you've got really usable absolutely. daisies there you can you can just pop them together in your own arrangement yeah absolutely so many different things you can be creating with them now I know Sheena has lots of samples to show you but I do want to show you some of her design team samples uh, look at this poppy absolutely incredible um, there's just so much that you can be doing with these even home decor some gift ideas for your books um, things for your door frames I absolutely love that um, making a bookmark or actually putting that onto the front of a card uh, I just love all what Sheena's design team have done I adore this card I think it's just absolutely stunning and I love uh, the background Sheena's assured us is it next week Sheena next week next week she's going Get to be tacky showing glue. us how to do make yep. sure you've got tacky glue she's going to be making sure that we are able to uh, do that crackled effect i for one can't wait um i'm not on holiday till the week after that sheen i don't know if i've told oh. you oh. Uh, have i not told you i'm going, on holiday? going on holiday really? i'm going on holiday oh, sheen, you should yes. mention 
dirt, I would like to hear about that. <laughs> I will tell you, don't worry, I will tell you. It means that I'm here for next Wednesday so I can watch that Hi. because I really want to learn <laughs> all about that. Right, let's see who's win with us uh, tonight. Um, oh, the Siva, tonight, we're not even in tonight's show. The day's going to be slow for me, isn't it? Um, Jan is in and she's saying, I've rushed to, visit, to finish my housework so I could just sit down and watch Sheena's masterclass. Time to enjoy having already bought my bundle. Now that's the way to do it. Take that bundles, get your start, and then you can just sit, relax, and watch the show. Now, do have to show you these. I can't believe we've still got them in stock now. Uh, you were buying them in your droves this morning. They are amazing. Uh, Sheena will tell you all about these brushes, but there are five in here. Uh, but look at that price. Can you see the price on there? That is incredible value for all five of our Royal Langnickel brushes. $7.99 or $11.95. That's absolutely amazing. So make sure you grab those now the paints I don't actually have in the studio uh, uh, Sheena's using her ones you are getting everything you see here which is incredible value £30.50 or $41 look at that platinum price £24.40 you are getting 20 paints in here plus your large 100ml white paint and you're getting a, a brush in there which is a really great brush Sheena will talk you all through that and how it's good for using both the brush side and the end of the brush um right so uh we're 12 minutes in i think you want to see a demo so sheena what have you got to show us well would you like to see some different style yes because like um i said you know, i love it when you can bring something revisit something that was phenomenally successful when it was launched what 15 year ago pin fusion and when you um you know since then there's new there's new product there's new um, techniques I've been playing with. There's different things. You know, you, you, things move on. You gather things, um, knowledge and product. So it's nice to be able to come back and, and mix them up a bit. So the first thing that we've come back, which is better, is the stamp straight away. They're a, um, they're a clear polymer now. So for positioning, much, much easier. And much You don't have to spray them. You just put them on your block and you're stamping them. Love that. The next thing is we've got different paints, which I'm going to show you, which are a different style of paint. We've got choices for you coming up. And the, the, ne the other thing is I like that we can give it a different look. So if you go with, with we, in the past, I used the uh, very um, you know, crackled uh, background, um, distressed background, using different techniques. But what I think looks also really lovely and charming is that clean uh, look with just, just the painting. And this is from Simply Sweet, this, this one, on a, a ba white card, a white A6 card, and... Um, and just matting, simple one mat and layering. And I think they just look really lovely. And those two first ones are from the Simply Sweet set. And they're really, really, they're so easy to do. We maybe should do one of those this, this hour as well. We'll do another oh, one of those yes. ones. That was really I love pretty. that daisy. Yeah. It's beautiful. Um, and then the daisy, absolutely love the daisy. And again, you can change the colours. If to make them look more modern, notice how I've taken down the, the brightness of the colours, the more muted Debbie. Yeah. Yeah. So absolutely. to fit in with like if you were putting, painting this on, say a bedroom, um, like a chest of drawers yes. or a dresser or, a, mm -hmm. or some wall art or anything like that, then that's what these paints will do. And easily enough to paint a whole dresser with, with these. But mute the colours down to go with your interior decor. Um, but if you want to just go vibrant and bright and sunny and shiny like the poppies here, we can do that too. Berries, we've got it. We're going to do this very, very soon. So we're going to start off with Debbie, the berries. This oh, one. lovely. Top of the hour with berries. Um, we painted the um, the rose earlier. So and nice. we're going to do another one. We'll do another one this hour. And we'll use those fabulous diner paints, which are in that set of paints. Uh, they are amazing special effects paints. And then look at how cool. This really... Um, this, this separates paint fusion from just painting or just stamping. So this is exactly nice. what paint fusion is about because um, what Karen's done is she's painted the used the stamp painted over it but monochrome he, well, straight away modern modern look yep. then she's stamped over and embossed she's done the same with a butterfly then stamped over with a detailed stamp and embossed it with gold embossing powder that is a fusion of traditional folk art painting by the way this wouldn't have been acrylics back in the day it would have been enamel or oil paints back in the day i was going to ask Modern that paints, what the paint acrylics would be. make it so there's no you would have to have linseed oil and turps and things yep. if you're using oils and you know um but with um acrylic paints just water water clean up 
and um, we'll come to that when we start using them but yeah. that shows how different the look is Absolutely. by just revisiting and a different angle on that they're amazing so okay. for me I, it's folk art sort of um come from i always think of like hippies and flower power and gypsies is it in those sort of areas Absolutely. as well? If you look at like, uh, you know, um, Travers Caravans and things yes. that will all be painted yeah. up and all yeah, that. That's where yeah, that's where I always think of It's kind of the thing is, right, if wherever you've had to paint on a repetitive, kind of in a repetitive fashion mm -hmm. to make something look good and um, consistent. Yeah. So, for example, sign writers know all of these tricks. They've used liner brushes for swirls and everything. They've been doing it for centuries yeah. and flat brushes to make the, the shape of, of the letters. If you think back to the potteries in England, yes. you know where um, you have um, hand-painted china and, um, and the ladies would be taught to paint a rose or whatever with these brush strokes exactly you know what, Sheena, that's just reminded me so years ago when yes. i was younger i'm in pottery i yes. just mentioned that i made a pottery vase by rolling yeah and then rolling like a snake around yeah, to, yeah, make yeah. A, to make Absolutely. a vase and i use a when we when we did it all we then i put leaves on it and actually used a flat brush to paint around those that's it so exactly. i think i've even done that in yeah. my time and that's exactly so that's it, it yes. has to be done quickly efficiently and formula one, two, three, four, five, your pet flowers done. One, two, three, four, five, your flowers done. We're at wow. one Someone else would do leaves. Someone else would do the swiddly bits. So we've probably all done a little bit in our it's time without realising. It's what you do. Yeah. It's, and, that, and that's it. So that's Absolutely. it. Absolutely. So, so that's what I've done is I've brought these together with Stand For You to make things as easy as possible to make it look as good as possible. So what are you going to show us first? What I'm going to show you, we're going to start with blackberries or Ooh. raspberries or berries indeed. Or berries, yes. So we have, let me show you what you get in the set. So the, the set looks like this when you're at the front. That's what you're going to look like there. And you've got your stamps. What, not, not one missing. You'll have one there as well. <laughs> so that's your set of stamps. And all, as, as Debbie mentioned, you've got stamps that you can just stamp with and use. You can make your own composition yep. because they're separate elements. But in there, you also get a sheet like this, which is not just pretty to look at, it's to paint over and to practice with, right? So that's the first thing. Now, I have got some paints open that I'm going to talk about more in a minute when we come down to the proper painting bit. Um, I'm going to take a flat brush. I'm going to show you how the practice sheet works. And it doesn't matter what colour you pick up for this. So I might use this pink and I might use a bit of that white and I might just double load this brush. You can triple load, you can single side load the brush. All of these things are what people have just been, you just do. Or oh, even, you know, like Bob Ross. Um, we love Bob Ross with his, like, he always is so calming absolutely the opposite to watching me debbie it's like you know i like never stop talking he's like a few words now and then just talking <laughs> calmly like this hopefully our Couple charlotte will go up in a second a so we can see yeah. what you're doing on the mat so there we go that's basically what um what what we do just so more than one color on the brush and then what you do is oh, you take your teacher guide just to say first of all sheena yeah. just only because a question come through earlier um there's a piece of acetate that's over the oh, top oh i should have mentioned yes uh, sorry. Yeah, but it's only because someone asked I've if you get it yet. with it yes you don't get it with it but you can put you we've got acetate on the website so or any of your packaging sometimes comes with a sheet yeah. of acetate you can just use that as well just to let you know it doesn't yeah. come in the packaging but you can uh, purchase that yeah yeah Sorry, absolutely. Sheen, I didn't mean to interrupt. That, and, yeah, absolutely, definitely. And uh, just I think the construction acetate is perfect for this. So what I'm doing is I'm zigzagging and back and forward, and I'm not worrying about the centre because that's taking care of itself. I'm looking at the outside, yep. and then I've got a leaf, oh, wow. the big leaf like that. And it's actually better to use a different colour when you're practising this so you can see it better. So notice how I'm turning the object around. It's much easier to turn the card, the box. If it's a dresser, it might be a little bit trickier to kind of move a dresser or a set of drawers or, you know, a, a, a something like that. So you've got to move yourself around a bit more then. But when you're doing something that's small and portable, just anchor your hand and get used to doing it that one way, like that. Move the thing around and it just makes it so much easier. See, so moving it around, I'm doing, I'm just turning it around so the white's on the outside again and I'm going, that way like that da 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 ba 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 boom and there you go you've got that hoe and you can do that as many times as you want you're going to do that and just just be playing and then when you've done it you can just put a little bit of water on there and then take a bit of kitchen paper wipe it off and then you're good to go and so what you what you what you're purchasing when you buy these little 
uh, sets is not just a stamp set, it's the system. It's the stamp and the tutorial at the same time. So that's, and that's, that's the first bit to do. So get, have a little practice, see how, get the feel of it, because the more you do, the easier it gets. Yeah. And you don't forget it, seriously. Doesn't matter how long you leave it, you come back and you can still do it. So Wendy has just had a suggestion about laminating your um Yes, your laminate sheet. it, absolutely. Yeah. Just mm -hmm. pop them through a laminator. Either that would be just as, that would be probably easier. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Idea. For sure. So um, that's the first bit. The next bit is we are going to stamp the background so we're, and we've got options on that debbie okay right, yes so what i'm going to do is get a piece of um this um is it mixed media or multi no must multi-purpose multi card multi-purpose multi-purpose yes. card it took me right ages. Multi -purpose i kept saying mixed media cards multi yeah, multi card knew that Right, it's uh, yeah, we've got A3 actually. We haven't got the A4, but we've got A3, which oh. is uh, which is amazing because you can just cut that in half. So uh, yeah, Ooh, you grab can that go one. big. You, you can, can go almost big. a mural. Oh yeah, a mural. I know. I can <laughs> so, um, so yeah, and, and we've got obviously this. That's what this is all about. You can go as big as you want and paint a freeze if you want. So we need to stamp this, the images, and place the what how we want these to look. Um, first of all, so you either can use paint or you can use an ink pad. So just for um, for speed, I'm going to use um, straw bale, just water reactive ink, and because I just want a pale colour, Debbie. I'm not worried about. Um, I don't want it really visible because we're going to paint on top of this. So I'm thinking of composition. So I'm thinking one leaf coming down like that mm -hmm. over there, yeah. And I'm not going to worry about stamping over that one either. I don't mind that if I put this on here. I'm going to pop this here so you can see I've got overlaps. <coughs> I can decide on which one's going to be in the foreground shortly. And I'm going to continue with this one and pop this maybe across the top so it looks like we've kind of created a triangle, yeah? And the berries are going to be down here, all okay, right? Yeah. So that's the, the stamping bit. And um, we can pop that to one side. Now, onto the paint. Let me show you how lovely these are. Oh, you're going to get all of these. And that's the colour chart. I just, just literally, quick colour chart I made up for you because first thing to note is how opaque they are on a dark mm -hmm. background. Yep. That's exactly what we want. The next thing to know, these are acrylic. So when they dry, they're like a plastic. Acrylic paint is basically, the stuff that makes them paint is like a, it's a, it's a plastic binder. So um, that's what makes them tough and durable for decorative painting and things other than just card and paper. The, but the look, also check it out. Look at those. Watch. What? Ooh, you never got those back amazing. in the past. What? Not in my day. Whoa. <laughs> so these are, the, I didn't even re realise these were in this particular set until I got it and I went, yes, thank you. Because these are Dyna paints. These are special effects. These are amazing paints by Pebby. I've done many a show with Dyna, with Dyna paints, many, many shows. And they've sold out time and time again in, in bigger tubes. You've loved them. But they are amazing, right? Let me show you, for example, look. That rose there. That is just so stunning. Dyna paint, just yeah. the Dyna paint. We'll paint that shortly. That's that. incredible. Wow. It looks foiled, doesn't it? It, it looks does look foiled. Yeah, absolutely. Amazing. Yeah, fabulous. So they're the paints, right? Let me... Um, next thing, you want this mat. Is it, is it still there or is it not there now, Debbie? What's that, sorry? The mat. Oh, we've had a sellout on it, oh. Sheena. Um, you sold it out. Yes, it's gone. It's uh, sold out. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll be getting it in soon. Um, but, yeah, since Sheena showed that uh, mat this morning, our mixed media mat, it's, uh, yeah, completely gone, I'm afraid. Um, so, sorry if you didn't get hold of one. Oh. Well, At least you you've know got what one, that. Sheena. When it comes back, you know how good it is. You know, you want it, yeah. So I'm not going to talk about it too much because I'm just going to make you bitter. <laughs> Look at what you could have had. But what I'm going to do is pop a little bit of brown in with this green in this little well here that we're going to use to mix. And you can see how gorgeous and thick and gloopy the, these paints are. They're fabulous. And I'm going to use put a little bit more white out. Now, the beauty is as well with that collection, there's a huge white. You'll be using more white. Oh, you know what? I've changed my mind. Oh. You could use white, but did you say that? I just, last minute, whoa. Well, funny I, enough, I was just thinking to myself, how do you measure? things so like if you like a color yeah. do you have like do you do you ever do a, a chart where you do like put a color code of things on 
if, if you like a colour. If you like a colour, you'll find you might use more colours than others. But the good thing is, you can probably buy these open stock, and they're just acrylic right. paints. You can yes. replace them. Oh, but okay. there's a starter set. This is fabulous. It'll right. last you Brilliant. ages. Because, but the one paint that you will use more than any, like to the power of ten, maybe, yeah. is the white. Right. Or a lighter colour like that. That um, this colour here, which is um, ivory. Because um, you need the contrast if you yes. want to have that kind of look. That um, which is why effect. we put the hundred mil bottle yes, in. Yes, absolutely. Tubing. Now we mentioned this earlier, and I'm going to mention it again. If you can, if you haven't got these yet, I would absolutely invest in them because these are brilliant to go with these paints and any acrylic paint. You can buy uh, an acrylic extender. They call it extender, and it basically makes your paint a little bit runnier. Mm -hmm. um, but it's still a purchase. And because water will make it runny, but it, it doesn't prevent them drying right. as quickly. Mm -hmm. It's weird. But it, it, so what I've done here is I've filled this up to almost full in each of them and popped a little bit of glycerin in. Yeah. And the glycerin will actually do that for you. Wow. So by the, using these little misters, you can just have a little spritz over your paints now and again. And that stops them drying out, Debbie. That's or amazing. Or you can even... Put a little drop out of your little this is the fine glue applicator onto right. your and give it a little smoosh if you need to make it a little bit um more so it runny. stays wetter for a bit longer it stays wetter for a bit longer and it makes them less heavy heavier bodied and a little bit more what they call flow formula right okay so it's a it's an option it's yeah it's if tip. you want them a little bit thinner if you find that's easier then that's a great little tip for you and it's it's something that you're going to have in your crack amazing kit. now earlier someone asked whether it was just glycerin you were putting on and not water but it, it wouldn't react no. the same if you were just putting glycerin in if it? you just put glycerin on debbie you'll change the integrity of your paint it'll be it'll mess with the sticking ability of your of the acrylic binder right you don't want to do that you want to you want to um just a little bit dilute won't 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 damage that but right. just glycerin will it'll stay wet a long time but it won't um yeah. it'll make your paint weaker right especially if you're thinking of painting on furniture and things and can you paint on just canvas someone's asked oh yes well. absolutely canvas Brilliant. on any mm -hmm. a, a surface that's a little bit less absorbent if it's super absorbent then use your pebby or gesso as a base there's a nice mm -hmm. ground for that just paint oh, it yeah, that. of course that'll be fine mm -hmm. that'll be great Amazing. yeah absolutely oh that's good to know right so what i'm doing now is i'm taking a flat brush i'm actually just going to wipe this here now um off my mat you'll find that you just keep do you you'll use yeah if you've got a like a non-stick mat that will work great this is fabulous for it but when it comes back in don't miss it <laughs> um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to now pick up some of this dark green and some of this buff color on my um on my brush and i'm pushing the color into the paintbrush and if it feels a little bit um thick sticky a little bit like it's dragging a little bit um pop a little bit of water on there and just walk one walking across from one side to the other you can add you can add more than two colors if you want it's up to, entirely up to you if you want to add more but we'll stick with that so what i'm going to do is we'll start off with one of these leaves back here and i'm going to paint zigzag back and forward like this across there like that and then i'm going to do the same here and zigzag because what i want to do i want to th i'm thinking of a serrated berry leaf and they're very zigzag and, and they've got texture to them now, if you're painting and you lose a little bit of that light and dark, if it goes a little bit all mid-tone, just clean your brush off, load it again, and then just start again, okay? And then, so we'll do another one here. We'll do that here. So this is a bit bigger. So we'll zigzag back and forwards like this. So you're creating a kind of a, a, a that serrated rose leaf or berry leaf any kind of wild you know leaf like that that just gives it some texture and if you change them up try to move away from the stamp a little bit it'll look more kind of um, organic and natural you know so yep. don't feel you have to just paint absolutely um where this where the stamp is there's a little one just showing over here so we can paint this like that so i've just come up a little bit closer to see so you're not putting your brush fully down into no that. i'm keeping it quite upright debbie yeah. for these ones because there's some if there's a smaller leaf i want to just use less pressure because i'm going to get a smaller size by not pressing down as much i could use a smaller brush but just for speed if you don't press down as heavy we can mm -hmm. get a smaller 
a smaller little serrated leaf like that. And if you don't like what you like, is it best to let it dry or you can go straight back over it? Uh, yeah, literally, you can probably go straight back over. It's oh, okay. so forgiving, yeah. So what I'm going to do, there's a leaf just showing here, so I'm going to paint this one here like that. And if they're coming off the page, also paint them kind of as if they're painted as in their yes. entirety so uh, that it yeah. looks like it's a full leaf. Yep. And then we'll pop that one there and there's the start of a one up here. And then we're going to paint the start of another one just here. So I'm speed painting here because I want to show you that this is the this is the trickiest bit of this whole thing. When you see the berries, they'll be like, what are you kidding? And just saying as well, if you try this and you go, oh, it's going to take a while before I get that ziggy zaggy thing right and you're not quite happy, it's pain fusion. You're allowed to go over and neaten it up. Just paint over the top of it any way you want. Just add a, you know little bit of ordinary paint detail like you normally would it's fine and it comes together really quickly it does come together and i'm slowing everything down here for you so that we can um in fact i'm going to put one here just so that we've got another one filling that gap in there like this and i suppose that's the thing if you feel like there's a gap just the choice the, is yours isn't it? once you've got used to that technique absolutely that's it, and that's that's exactly it. And once you've got used to it, you'll use the stamps just to map out your mm -hmm. basic composition, and then you'll just do what you want with the rest of it. You'll just be doing like, oh, I'll put a little leaf here, I'll put whatever there, and you won't necessarily need to go to the stamps to do that bit because you've already got the feel of how the leaves feel to paint them, like that, ziggy zag, back and forward, and you think, oh, well, yeah, okay, it's just the same, turning the thing around, see, and then. And then that big one there, and then I'm going to have a quick clean up when we've done this last leaf, and then show you how ridiculously cool the berries are to paint. Well, so this we'll is reminding me at the moment of my holiday. I just feel like there needs a beach and the sea in the background. These oh. are like palm leaves. Are you going on holiday, Debbie? Yes, yeah, Sheena. Did you I should have you? mentioned. Over, yeah, oh, I had no idea. Yeah, oh. It's going to be amazing. I'm going to Singapore and to Bali. Um, Bangkok and Vietnam. Woohoo! I know. <laughs> Woo and I'm thinking, like, these palm trees are going to be above me in Bali and I'll just be laying on the beach. <laughs> and I'm telling you to go to Whitley Bay. <laughs> really? You yeah. was. Yeah, it sounds lovely, though. So what I'm doing is now I'm taking a little bit of this paint here and then I'm going to take a little bit of this paint on the thin brush. Now, if you want to use, ever use this um, thin, more precise lines, just water the paint down a little bit and it's much easier to use like that. Right, well, that Sheena, in. they are loving your stamps. Half the stock has gone now wow. on those floral stamps. So, uh, and I'm not surprised because they're absolutely beautiful. Well, well wait till you see the berries. Honestly, it's such a good, and like I say, even if you, you don't do the fusion with them straight away, if you use them just as stamps, you've got a great deal there just as stamps. So. So what we've got there is the base now. We've got a nice little pretty branch. Now, you know what? Even just the leaves. I if know. You imagine that on a dresser mm. in a conservatory and you've just got a few little, not everywhere, just a detail corner yes. coming around. Then you could maybe wax it, maybe take, oh. put a bit of vintage aging wax over the top of it, make it look, you could even sand it a little bit, make it look a bit mm. worn, weathered. Um, once you've waxed it, totally protected. Look fabulous, just like that. Yeah, but amazing. we're going to come back in a minute. We'll have to tidy up a little bit, Debbie. Oh, amazing. Well, that's good, actually, because we've got lots of people coming in. But I'm going to recap on the stamps. Then we're going to um, tell you, I'm going to look at some of your questions and look at what you're actually saying. Half the stock have gone on these, and I'm not surprised. These are beautiful. Uh, this one is your Simply Sweet. Um, it's a great one. Uh, if you go back and watch uh, Wake Up Call, you will see Sheena using that one to make a bouquet. Uh, we've also got our daisies i think that's a beautiful one absolutely love that uh, you've got the butterfly as well so with the butterfly and those extra stamps that you've got those flowers we've then got our berries which is the one sheena's using at the moment we've then got the lilac in that collection and remember you're getting all of these you don't have to choose unless you're cherry picking um, we've then got the beautiful rose and then our last one in that collection so all seven pieces of these uh, the last one is the poppy uh, platinum price $37.99 or $47.19 so that's amazing and don't forget to check out those uh, paints that Sheena's been using as well they are on the website
website. Um, right, Sandra's in to say, saying, um, Sheena, you may talk the hind legs off a donkey, uh, but you have a soothing voice, so it's all good. Oh, <laughs> I love bless. that. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Karen saying, I missed how to put on brush. Um, as you were out of, sh out of shot. Yeah, we were a little bit out of shot. Uh, don't worry, we've got a masterclass and uh, we will see uh, doing that again. We've got lots going on in the gallery, so don't panic, honestly. We will show you all those things and how to load the brush again. Uh, Lindsay's saying, uh, it is very beautiful. I do like Sheena um, a lot. She explains things very gently, which is lovely to hear. Um, uh, Sharon is saying, good uh, afternoon. Um, can this be done on canvas? Yes, we covered that, that can. Um, Debbie is saying once you get confident on fusioning, um, no surface is safe. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> she said anything you can put acrylic stamps onto, the world is your oyster. Debbie, I like your way of thinking. So true. <laughs> Absolutely. Trees are saying I love the technique, uh, but I would when end up with both paints mixed together. So Max, perhaps we'll put that to Sheen and see how you can stop maybe that happening. Uh, Annie is saying, um, can you? Oh, that's a good question, Annie. Can you? only do this technique with acrylic paints no you can do it with oils you can do it with oils if you want you can do it with enamels if that's what there you, you use wow. and you can scale it up or scale it down if you use a bigger brush you get a bigger painted thing if you use a smaller brush you get a smaller one so yeah ah. yeah you can do it with the uh, watercolors not so much because you need to uh, although saying that i have been using a single color on a brush and using brush strokes and that works great too yeah. to me which was might be down the line but, um, <laughs> but the thing is is um yeah any uh, just yes as long as it's uh, that ah, consistency brilliant yeah. brilliant question Ooh, thank oh, you i should mention ceramic paint there's um there's ceramic paints that you can bake in a domestic oven mm -hmm. they look amazing so i used to sell i used to sell those things back in the day mm -hmm. um i'd buy inexpensive glasses glassware yeah cheapest chips and paint little rosebuds on them and yeah. things and they just look so pretty and if you pop them in a like a, there's ones that you can put in like you put in a cold oven you only put the oven on to like 150 degrees and you leave them for like um about half an hour mm -hmm. turn the oven off don't take the glass out it cools down yeah then it's hand washable it's usable they say that you can even put it in the top of the dishwasher and i've tried it but i wouldn't but it's all usable hand washable so you can paint it on mugs, on plates, on glassware, mm. if you use the appropriate paint. That's amazing. Oh, thank you for that, Sheena. Mm. Hopefully that helps, Aunt, uh, Annie. Mm. Uh, Rose is saying, wow, this is phenomenal. Uh, Rosalind's saying, uh, Sheena, if you're doing the technique on canvas, do you need to prime the canvas? Yes, definitely, I would, yes. Most, sometimes when you buy canvases, it's probably usually a good idea to prime them anyway, because yep. sometimes the primer's not as good as it could be yep. so use the pebble gesso something like that would be great definitely and um uh, stamping by hand on youtube is saying wow it brings me back to my oil oil painting days i yes. love it uh, how good is that absolutely amazing now talking about acrylics uh, are we bringing these in johnny i was just i uh, had the paints to hand um these are our acrylic paints you are absolutely loving them sheena is loving these as well you can use these in conjunction uh with your regular um uh well, with the paints that sheena's using as well so you can mix and match them all together they're absolutely amazing i love that you get a gauge on these as well so you always know whether you're going to run out um, we haven't got too many of these left in stock so grab these uh, while you can so uh, we've got less than 40 now um, but you've got your essentials there we've also got our brights We've then got our beautiful jewels and we've got our pastels as well. So all those colours, uh, platinum price, £20 or $28, which is incredible. Uh, right, Sheena, are you ready to do I a am. little bit more? I am. Let's see what you've got. <laughs> right, so we've got the foundation. We have a lovely, um, the, the nice foliage kind of set now to place the berries um, again. So to bake the berries, we're going to take some, I've got some rose, some rose colour. Um, and we're going to smudge that on just like that. If you could use this, um, the also the magenta would work great, good colour. And I need a little bit of the um, violet, which is a, like a dark purpley colour. And you could even pop a little bit of green on there if you want to make a berry look. You know, they're not quite ripe. Uh, you'll see, you'll see what I mean. We'll pop a little bit there. We might, we might introduce a little bit of that. So basically, to paint a berry, 
we're going to use your thumb. Now, not everybody has a thumb like mine. I, you know, teaching workshops and this. And I was like, why have everybody's very smaller than mine? But then I realised I've got this like weird kind of bendy joint you thing. You have got a very so, bendy yeah, so joint. Yeah, so I was thumb. having huge bends. I remember, <laughs> like, whoa, well, whatever you're putting That's in like your a soil. on your thumb. Yeah, it's like, it's not right. So if even just, a, you know, a normal thumb <laughs> works great. But um, so what I'm going to do, and I'm going to take my thumb and I'm going to splodge it round and create that kind of shape. And I'm going to say, well, put a berry there. And then we're going to put a berry here. And put, they're nice if you put them in kind of groups of two or three, but Debbie, we'll put one there. And oh then maybe life. put another couple up here, put one there. I used to think of painting we'll with my kids when they were little. There. <laughs> yeah, exactly, see, it's like, what? Adults finger painting, what? Yeah. So there you go, that's the start of the berries, all right? <laughs> and I'm just gonna wipe me, clean my thumb here. Um, I didn't think that one through, did I? <laughs> like, okay, right, yeah. Should have okay. done that last. Clean it in the thing. <laughs> Bear with, I'll be back. Yeah, well, I pink everywhere. So <laughs> that's that. The next thing is that's, if it dries a little bit, oh, I meant to tell you that a little bit. So if you want to pop a little bit of like an unripe bit somewhere, you could splodge a bit of the green in and it just looks a little bit like, you know, when you've got little bits of um, not quite ripe berries yep. and they've mm -hmm. got that greeny tint to them. All of these things are things you can add as you go, um, you know, they're, they're just build on it. Do it, make it simple and then build on it. Next thing, talk about keeping it simple, you want a pencil with an eraser on the end. And you're going to put your pencil and you pick it up and you're going to start going around like this. Start off like on the outside and just press down and slightly overlap and come slightly outside of your berry shape. And what's great is when it's still a little bit wet, you get some of the colour showing through as well. Always start around the outside, but don't do it symmetrical like a spiral. Can you see I was a little bit kind of um, like that one we put there. So it's not... Yeah. It's not overlapping in a perfect fan type um, position. And pop that in there, that one there, but always ending up with the one kind of towards the middle. That's and then so you've good. got your first berry. Where did you learn that from? Oh, just just gathering <laughs> just as playing. I was going from the thing. It was um, yeah, different um, different tutorials. I've, I bought so many books, Debbie, and you know basically. When you teach, when you're learning something, you, you want to learn from, we don't, nobody knows everything. Nobody knows, knows it all. We're always learning. So by getting lots of books and picking out little gems and little ideas and little, you know, snippets and thinking, well, that's a good one. You may, for me, I may, you know, watch a show or, or get a book and there's only one thing in there that I take away from it. But if it's a cool one, if it's a brilliant one, then, wow, fantastic, mm -hmm. that's excellent. So, yeah, that's it. And then just refine it. But you know what it's like, you see something, then you do it, and then you add your own little extra bit here, and then a yep. bit there, and then before you know it, it's morphed into something that, you know, which is, which is the way what crafting's all about, isn't it? Oh, absolutely, yeah. It's where we always inspire, don't we, from Abs our own thoughts and play. Absolutely, and, and that's the fun bit of crafting. That's why you keep crafting, because you're always learning. If you, if you never pushed yourself and found out something else you can do, um, then there's no point in, in keep doing it. Yeah. You know, it's like you don't want to, even if you know you can do something, um, and you, well, there's times when you, if you know that is 100% going to give you that result and it works, and like Julie on my team, she sells um, painted pieces and she's done all this time. Um, all these years since the start of fusion um, that basically um, is what you would then say right that works let's do that again if it's something that you know you want to reproduce that look and, and people are loving it well yep that's it that's what you do so just continuing like this you can see it's just really therapeutic and absolutely it's so easy now what you need to do is um, you know, look after your tools when we finish this we'll clean the eraser because we want to use it again and um and then we're going to pop a little highlight on them, do a little few flourishes, and then it's that's it done. So you've got the just about done with the berries there. And I love the way, can you see that lovely colour in there? It looks like as if you've shaded it, as if you've been really fancy. Honestly. With the colour in here, and that's just, look, that's just what the thing's done for you. It's amazing. But what we'll do is get the fine brush now and make them look healthy. So we'll pick up a little bit of white, 
and we'll pop a little little dot like this not too much just imagine the light shining maybe if it's coming from like slightly above and slightly at the front just a couple where it's going to catch these little cells so a little bit there maybe here here so it makes them look really juicy and ripe for the picking I mean, how long would it take you to draw in those little circles yeah. and how and quick this has all come together? Absolutely. And the point in being drawing as well. Some people, you know, if you try drawing the past, think, oh, yeah, I ain't going there. But, you know, a thumbprint and a pencil eraser is like the way to go. Um, now, what we can do after that, we'll... Um, one more thing and then we'll leave it then we're going to try a little bit embellishing with the markers so what, I, what i'm going to do is use maybe this thin brush this tiny little brush we'll take a little bit of the green the dark green and we'll um we'll double load the round brush so we'll put a little bit of white on this or maybe we should have been that buff color and then i'm going to pick up a little bit of green on the end of the brush and then we'll pop a little like a, a little calyx thing there that a little bit wetter on that you know like the top of the berries where you've got that little kind of thing that where it attaches where it's glued on the branch yes <laughs> yeah so it looks like it's actually hanging on for dear life <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then you can it's so amazing and then you can add a little bit of a now if you well maybe a little bit darker let's pop a little bit of that black by the way these paints I just spritzed these paints with that and they we had a whole hour between the shows and they're perfectly fine weren't they oh, yeah put a little absolutely bit of red in there. right that's better and then you can just so when you're painting the little stems if you kind of paint them so that it looks like they're quite thick and then just fade it into nothing mm -hmm. Kind of looks pretty. It looks like they're just yeah, disappearing into absolutely. the whole of the, the thing there. Um, so yeah, there you go. Berries. That is so effective. Uh, do you know what I love about those paints as well? It's because of the small tubes, you can really uh, be in control of how much you use of the paints, can't oh, you? Oh yeah, absolutely. Mm. They're really, it's really, really. Um, don't put huge amounts out because you can't put them back in the tube and you can't re-wet it like um you know like with with uh, watercolors so um but don't put tiny amounts out that are just going to dry unless you know that's all you need but um yeah that's where the spritz comes in that little spray bottle keeps your paints fresh but little bits like this just get used to tidying up clean up and then it's ready for the next bit you're going to do yeah absolutely that's uh, incredible absolutely incredible uh lindsay said that's very cool sheena with the berries um joanna said i'm torn about these i am horrible at painting uh, i'm yeah. a little bit like that as well joanne so please don't fret and it says i can design and make my own purses bags but when it comes to artistic abilities i can really mess things up even a stick person <laughs> is this really as easy as it looks well yes and you know what we need to do we need to do some lavender in that bouquet from simply sweet mm -hmm. what i want to do with this i want to let this dry and I'm thinking of putting a little few of those markers in amongst it. Oh, yes. Mm. Shall we come back to that then? Yes. In a what while? would you, would you, what, yes, let's do that. And then yes. I'll have a tidy up and then we'll Absolutely. come back. Absolutely. Right. We'll give Sheena a chance to tidy up and um, let that dry for a little bit. Uh, we're going to also let you check out your baskets because uh, they are bulging, I'm sure. Uh, but take a look at this while you're waiting. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today.
If you love Crafters TV, we've made it easy for you to watch us wherever you are. Whether you catch us on your tablet or take us with you on your mobile phone, it's easy to watch us anywhere. From here to here. Maybe don't watch us here. It would be easy to watch us here. Probably the easiest place to watch us is here. Crafters TV, with you wherever you are. Here at Crafters TV, it couldn't be easier to get your hands on the latest crafting must-haves. Leave the hard work to us while you shop from the comfort of your own living room. Head to the Crafters Companion website to see our full crafty range, or hit the Shop the Day button to see all the new and exciting products featuring on Crafters TV. Once you've filled your cart, leave it to us to get your crafty goodies to you in super quick time so you can get on with being creative. Crafters Companion, making crafty shopping a breeze. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. So join our family of craft experts with live tutorials and demonstrations every day. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products here on Crafters TV. Get creative and craft along with our amazing deals. Your next craft project is only a click away. Tune in live seven days a week or watch on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook or our YouTube channel. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends in our online crafting community. You entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like, um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. Do all that time with each other! <laughs> You're not through to boot camp. Get off! <laughs> There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. So, stop what you're doing and enjoy the fun here on Crafters TV. Afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to Crafters TV. You are joining us for an amazing masterclass. Um, all your comments that are coming through, can I just say thank you so much? Uh, you've all been so kind and welcoming, Sheena, to our family at Crafters Companion. Uh, there's some really lovely comments in here which are just amazing, so thank you for those. Uh, now, the Sheena's using lots of tools, so not only is she using our amazing Royal and Langnickel brushes, uh, she is using our fabulous Rocker Blocks. Um, now, you will find them on the website but we've got them here for you and they're at a good price as well look at that price 8.99 for all of this set you're getting four different rocker blocks in this collection uh, to use for all different shape, uh, shapes and sizes of your stamps uh, they're a great way to use a great way to stamp those stamps with sheeners out the, sh the stamps themselves will just peel off and stick directly to the rocker blocks so they are absolutely fabulous so if you want them today platinum price £7.19 or $10.07 which is incredible um, right so um, I think we've got everyone here. Joy's saying, wow, I love what Sheena is doing. Um, and um, uh, Terry is saying that you're making a very hungry and she wants some fresh fruit right now. So you must be making very real looking berries. Well, it's, it's a power <laughs> one, isn't it? They're very good for you, your berries, apparently. Absolutely. Yeah, so what good. else are you going to do with your berries? Well, I thought, <laughs> because we can, this is the point, again, when you come back to things, it's like, oh, great, we can actually kind of like, um, you know, swirl these around and, and do something different to them. So yeah. mm -hmm. I've got this gold um, marker here. And I'm thinking, I'll give it a little try, because with the gold markers, if you're not sure if they're like kind of playing very, um, you know, to, to start off with them being that little like kind of pump valve thing, just make sure it's flowing. If you need to like get that flowing a little bit again, love these. So the metallic markers, mm -hmm. it could be the, um, the, uh, the crease cap markers, whatever. But this, if you look in the set, I've actually given you a swirl because that's really, you'd stamp that and emboss it if you want to make yep. it look a little bit kind of, you know, something else going on like a thread. But... You can literally just pop little bits like this and get used to drawing little, see little swirlies oh, wow. like that, so it looks like it's coming around. I'll, I'll pick this up so you can see. Now that looks like it's coming around the back That's of that amazing. fruit. Yeah. And what's nice about that, everyone can draw a swirl. 
Exactly, and you don't have to like, you know, there's there's no right swirl and a wrong swirl. A swirl's a swirl, isn't yeah, absolutely. it? Absolutely. And um, and then you can just basically, and you can just do your own, a you know, swirl. however, <laughs> however much you want to, or however you want to take this. If you want to make it really elaborate, you can just go to town. If you want to keep it quite, oh, you know, that. just a little thread coming through, you can do that as well. Oh, you stamped the berries. Is that sta that's in the stamp set, isn't it? That the berry? berries, absolutely. Looks you can amazing. stamp them if you want, but it gives it a completely different um, look and beautiful. that little pop of embellishment on there. That's so that's a completely different look to what I did when I launched this. When did when did we launch this, Debbie? So 2012. 2012. Apparently. Yes. I don't even want to think how long that was. <laughs> I know, 2012, wow. uh, Paint Fusion first wow. hit our screens with And Gina. so that was, yeah, and, and, and so you can see how, how cool that looks like. It's that. amazing, yeah. so, so amazing. And um, I think achievable for everybody. Yeah, and oh, you look, we can do the same with a poppy. So just have a play. Once you've painted, I love doing this because then it's different things you can do. Mm. You can make these look then like kind of like a fabric, you know, so if it's like a... If, um, you know when you get that like gold um, silk thready thing running through fabrics you can kind of oh like embroidery thread yes yes Just it is like that going around like that and then absolutely see with fabric it's like what's that stuff again <laughs> what's that again and then uh, you can so you can use these to go around and dis dis like define so again this is where you're painting if you think oh i can't quite see where that one went and that one went it use your markers bring those in bring make them you know um make it a feature of the whole thing and actually it is you are becoming the artist aren't you or you even really are. when you're not an artist absolutely and everyone you do is going to be slightly different and it's going to have a different a different feel and a different bit of personality to it again this is something that i wasn't doing when we first you know launched these first time but looking at now what we can do because of the these wonderful tools we've got yeah. then that's all fits in with the whole fusion theory and ethos and, wow, and values of the whole thing that is incredible I mean, that really is a piece of art, isn't it? it? Absolutely. And then, you know, you make those. You can make them, pop them in a frame because, um, you know, wall art um, or, um, you know, decorative uh, boxes, even in expensive things. There's a box. I need to bring this in to show you, but just, just so I can bring this in closer. This is just a, a cardboard, like a box from a, a product in a kitchen. I don't know what it is. It um, looks like just, a coffee it looks pot. Like ceramic. Exactly. Yes. It's just cardboard. But... But what... Um, I thought that was ceramic. Oh, amazing, Johnny was saying it? he thought that was ceramic, so yeah. So Julie has painted it. There's a black gesso base on it, right? So gesso, black gesso without. She's used the lavender, but gone bigger on that. And she's stamped the butterfly, then over stamped and embossed it. And then used something like spray and shine, two or three coats wow. of spray and shine. Thank you very much. Jobs are good. And you can sell that now. That's a really pretty keepsake. Yep. And Absolutely. it's recycled. And so that's brilliant too. That's even more good that we that's amazing something yeah it looks mm -hmm. absolutely incredible but it just shows you and actually the comment we had earlier about it doesn't matter uh, what you find around the house whether it's your wall whether it's a chair whether it's your furniture whether it's your old coffee pot that you just want to put some black gesso onto you can actually be creating uh, bespoke pieces with this uh, paint fusion uh, I absolutely love it it's amazing now if you want those acrylic paints uh, we're doing a set today with 20 acrylic paints plus your paintbrush plus a hundred mil of our white paint which is incredible that one is going to take you uh, s through so many different options and adding that to whatever you're painting um, here we go you can see exactly what you're getting here uh, each one of those uh, uh, paint pots as so paint tubes has 20 mils of paint in there uh, a third of the stock was already got in that and I'm not surprised now they are dispatching on the 29th of April so it's only a little while that you've got to wait uh, just another week really so uh, uh, not too long to wait at all um, and you'll love them uh, you'll be doing lots and lots with them so the stamps themselves I'll pop them this way let's have a look at these 55% of our stamps have already gone uh, you're getting the poppies in there I love this one absolutely beautiful I love that Sheena's added all the foliage as well as those flowers in there um, wait till you see if you, this is your first time you're tuning in today wait till you see what uh, Sheena does 
does with this rose bloom. Absolutely stunning. We've got a lilac in there as well. We've also got the berries that Sheena has just been using to create those amazing berries and leaves. Uh, we've got the butterflies there with those two butterflies and extra blooms in there. We've also got the daisy, which I absolutely adore, and I think Sheena may be doing that next. Uh, and the last one in that collection is our Simply Sweet. So that's got all your sort of tree branches and your foliage for your bouquet. So that's absolutely beautiful. Now, all those stamp sets, seven pieces a day, are 47. 49 uh, if your platinum price only 37 pounds 99 um everyone's saying love that sheena love what sheena is doing loving these techniques lillian is saying i love it um with the gold on it as well um yes so evelyn's saying wow this looks so interesting um yeah just lots of lovely comments so thank you so much um annie is saying i remember doing painting onto half potatoes <laughs> i remember doing that as well <laughs> doing yeah. the old potato potato printed yeah absolutely <laughs> how far we have come when we just yeah. use our thumbs now or our, our pencil eraser which is uh, pretty good fun uh, right Sheena are we going to be using the daisies next yes Yay! let's do the daisies let's do the so, daisies so um so what I've got is we've got the practice sheet again and the instruction sheet so again you would put your um construction acetate over there and literally paint over the over the top of that but I thought we'll fit more in if I just go on to showing you how to paint it so just know that's what you would do yeah. Have, we, have we demonstrated that this cell? Yeah, um, we did. did. Yes, we, we did it first we did. one, yes. Yeah. yeah, so that's what you would do. Wipe it off and you're good to go. Right, so next thing is, um, I've actually, this is easier because in here I've actually got the two colours on the a brush at one point. We're going to make it even easier because there's so many more than one way to get to the finish. Right. And it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. So um, take the stamp. So first of all, we need to map out where we want the daisies. And you can see you've got daisies going in all directions, which gives it a little bit more realism and makes it look a, a, a nicer composition. So um, pop the stamp on there. We'll use this. Um, the uh, We've got a spa blue, the opaque pigment pad, because I'm using that Centura Pearl Black card. So this means I can, it will show up on there. So we'll pop the big daisy about there. That'll look fab. And it doesn't matter. We don't want a really opaque um, transfer of the colour here. We want just enough to see where to paint. So this is not to stay. This is there just for us as a guide. And we'll just do a couple of these sideways daisies on as well. So we'll maybe put one there. I'm really compositions of sorry sheen i was just gonna say i'm really interested to see yeah. how the daisies are done because they've got quite smaller thinner yes, petals they have. haven't they yeah absolutely and and the, so compositions of three deb is usually good if you do flower arranging mm -hmm. it's like you have to it's yes. the law yes three, absolutely yeah i always do things five, in threes sevens, or odd numbers yes, yes. odd numbers mm -hmm. even bad bad so yeah <laughs> I don't know, but there you go. So that's that there. We've got them. Oh, we need the leaves. Let's pop the leaves in as well. So we can map everything up. Now, I've drawn the leaves so they go and face different directions. So one goes that way, one goes that way. So it looks nice and, um, you know, natural and um, instead of just facing one way and having to make that one leaf work. So we'll pop them. We want these kind of like in little clumps and clusters so that the daisies are going to, you know, show in amongst these leaves. Put another one. Maybe there, and then we'll pop this on here, and then this on this side. There's also some really tiny, cute little daisies that look lovely if you stamp and emboss them and make a little daisy chain. Oh, oh nice! I used to love making daisy chains. Did you, Debbie? Yes. Sit in the field, oh, making I daisy chains. I loved it. Yeah, I could oh. do it all the time. Absolutely loved yeah. it. That always reminds me reminds me of a story years ago when my um, my son and my daughter there's only two years apart so we used to always have a joint birthday party and um, I remember it being quite nice outside and all the girls my, my daughter had her friends over they were only little um, and all the little all the girls were all on the field picking daisy chains and all the boys were on the other side rough and tumbling and yeah. doing cartwheels and all Aww. sorts of things and where was my poppy she was with the boys rough and tumbling while all her little friends were picking lovely <laughs> daisy chains yeah she was definitely the tomboy of the group <laughs> Oh, cool. Do you know what I love about this? It's the that you it doesn't matter where you stamp it or over stamp it because you're just painting over it. Yeah, absolutely. And that's the beauty of acrylic paints. They're actually way more forgiving than watercolours can be because of that reason. They're really, really, you know, they're, they're brilliant for that. So I'm gonna pop a little bit of that in that little dropper, because I want that a little bit wetter. And then this is the brush that comes with the paint, remember? Yeah. That 
um, really tough, like a um, hog's hair brush, which is not for this type of painting, but is great for texture if we want to stipple in that. So, and I'm using this, the, the, the thing, it's a great mixing brush, so just pop that like that. I mean, if you've got a palette knife, you can also use that, but we really just want to mix it and waste as little paint as possible. Yeah. So, um, you know, just keep wiping it, it's there, you might as well use it, it does the job. And we'll pop a little bit of a lighter colour in there. Let's let's do let's do a little bit of a um, a little bit of the lemony in with that buff colour because you can because we can, right? And now we're going to take the um, flat brush, this half inch flat brush, and I'm going to pick up some green. We're going to do the base, the the leaves first, and then we'll pop the daisies so that they're sitting nice and uh, pretty on the top after that so is there a way of stopping the two colors from blending too much Sheena? they you want them to blend you want one to go can you want to transition you want pure yellow or cream on one side and pure green on the other and in between are like a transition so to get it a transition you walk it across a little bit can you see i'm going yep. to the right now i'm going to the left but what you do want to do is not lose that lighter side does that yep. make sense absolutely and if you do lose it debbie then what best thing to do is just, you know, accept defeat on that bit, clean the clean that bit and start again, load the brush again. Yeah. And you're all good with that. So I'm making these much brighter with this paint and it's really shown up against this Absolutely. black centura. That's amazing. And it's you'll find that when it's a um when it's a glossy card, you use less paint too. And so you need less water. Okay, because there's less drag. Right. So we'll go there, and you don't have to stick to the to the pattern entirely, but because it's stamped, I definitely want to cover the line. Yeah. Yeah. I can add extra bits if I want, but I do want to lose that line there, like that, and then drag it down. There you go. So we've got a couple there, and then we'll pop that there, and you can see how little I'm using. Yeah, Hardly absolutely. Any. Um, you can, you know, you can just add a couple of like extras just on top of that if you want. It doesn't have to even be via the stamp because that's the thing with paint fusion. It's permission to just get the thing looking good using the, the little um, the um, the folk art tips and tricks with the brush. But if you find an easier way to do it, it doesn't matter. Just do it. Just get get make it at the end of the day. If you've got to use a, a regular brush and tidy up a little bit, or put a little bit here, or add a little bit extra there. That's not that it's not a, it's not an issue. That's that you just want it to look good at the end of the day. So then we've got that showing up on there. That's amazing. Like that. And now we can take um, we'll use just one colour. So if you want it to look quite um, muted, um, we can use a greyish base. But if you want it to look brighter, you can use a bluish base. Okay. So it's, it's your call. Let's go. Let's go quite bright. Let's use this. Um, not the diner because that's the special effects one. We'll use. In fact. We can use a little bit of both. I'm going to pop a little bit of this um, turquoise blue or turquoise blue. And actually, I'm going to put a little bit of this Payne's Grey in because I was saying earlier about how Payne's Grey is a lovely colour. To It mutes stuff down. It's a great watercolour colour as well. You use it a lot. You get it in a lot of watercolour palettes. So it just... Is it really? It's softer than black, black. I like that colour. That's mm, lovely. That'll be nice. a lovely shadow colour. Okay. So what we're going to do now? Uh, you try both sides brushes. We'll try the smaller one for this, with it not being a huge daisy. And we're not even, we're not even going to double load this brush. We're just going to load it with one colour, and then we're going to go across. And on this side, um, on the what they call the chisel of the brush, we're going to go around and pull in petals but notice I'm not going around in a spiral fashion I'm spacing the petals out to start with can you see oh uh, yeah uh, because you don't want a pinwheel look which you can get if you if you end up going like methodically right yes that, you know that one then that one then this one then that one um so you're trying to avoid that and also don't worry about these being perfect because this is the like the underpainting this is to give the daisies petals the top ones which are going to use white um, kind of texture and shading so we'll pop that there 60 percent of the stock has gone now so gotta be quick wow. it is depleting now these it's important with these ones that we keep the side ones long because that's what gives it that foreshortened perspective on them so they look yeah. like they're on the side see 
So keep those ones, press a little bit down a little bit more and lift up a bit sooner and you get a shorter petal. See, shorter there, there, there. And, and if they are a bit thicker than the stamp, it doesn't oh, matter. Yeah. That stamp's just there as a guide. I'll pick this up in a sec. So it's probably difficult to catch it because it's dark on dark, but I'll lift the card up for you in a sec and you'll be able to see what, what it looks like. So I'm just popping that on there like Again, because you've got the stamp to follow. It's oh, uh, so I've, simple. That's, that's the difference with straightforward four card because it would be like, okay, now paint all these petals in a symmetrical fashion to meet the middle. And that's not as easy as it sounds. No. It's all kind of like, you know, the um, kind of, you've got to get that spatial positioning and everything there to, to make that work. So I'm going to lift this up and show you what we have. Um, yeah, see there, you can see like the, Amazing. just about that there, but we need to next go around with the white. Okay, so that's the next bit. So we're going to use just, I'm getting some, fresh white out here, uh, Debbie. Nice and clean, untainted, beautiful white. And we can put a little bit more out if we need it. And then same brush, no, not much water because again, we're on a shiny surface and we want this to really hold the shape of these petals. And then just pick some petals and drag the brush across like that. And can you see what it's doing? It's creating veins in the petals see it looks like it's got little texture to them like that's so clever <sighs> sorry i was i was getting johnny's wondering where i'm going and i keep going to get a closer look it's quite nice to do it from eye level rather than on top so you can really sort of see it it's so i'm so in awe of it and you can take your time there's no rush with this you know just just enjoy it enjoy the process it's not a thing that you have to speed doing you can literally oh, you're just right under the spotlight now sheena am Charlotte's I? Is it coming up close in. And it, whoa look at that that looks incredible i better do it right, right now than johnny yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And Spot then you've the got, mistake. and then that's <laughs> that one. And then we'll pop these across there, see, like that. And then. Yeah, Johnny's just said it wants to, I'm going to have a go. I'm going to have a go before the end of the day. Yeah, honestly, it's such a, it's such a cool thing to do. And, and it's once you've learned that, just the feel of the, the brushes and the feel of the paint and what you can do, you'll apply it to so many. Um, you know, when, you, when you're doing traditional painting, you'll come to using this brush strokes to um, kind of get you um, uh, like a base painting done and then put your extra, you know, fine or detail over the top now and again. And that's exactly the likes of Bob Ross doing things like that because it just works, you know, yeah. using the brushes are there to be used and that's why you get all these different shaped brushes. It's not accidental. They're shaped certain ways to give you certain effects and looks. And that's exactly what four court really that's builds on and plays good. on. So we've got that there. And then we're going to use that brush that came with the paints. Well, hey, it's, oh, look, it's out of the corner with Blick Baby and the brush now out of the corner. <laughs> yeah. I'm doing the whole dance in me head, only in me head. You're okay. So what I'm going to do there, I'm using a little bit of yellow. Well, I'm having the time of my life. <laughs> 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 and I'm popping a little bit of brown on there as well. And I'm going to stipple the centre of that daisy like that. And maybe we'll use a little bit darker to start with. I want that little bit highlighted. And we'll highlight across the top of that little dome in the middle. So this can be a little bit dome because it's kind of on its side. Like that. Wow. And then we'll get a little bit of yellow, just yellow, and pop a little bit. Make sure this is dry again, this brush. And then there, like that. Just catch a little bit of the top if you can. That's amazing. And then we'll put the stems on the daisies. It looks 3D. And then it's just, a, it's just it's, again, it's just things that you can do that just work. And if they're there and they work, well then, you, that's what you do. Simple as that. So we can even double load this. We can pick up a little bit of white maybe and just pop a little bit of a, just a suggestion of the, the stems and make them again a little bit 
not straight if you make them a little bit of a bend on them it looks a little bit more interesting um, you can maybe bring, bring that one coming around there maybe a little bit down there so it looks like they're disappearing Beautiful. and then you've got your that's it unreal unreal now if i hadn't seen that done before my eyes i would have said that was a photograph really that looks like honestly yeah. it looks like a photograph look at that on the camera if we can look at that again yeah sheena honestly effective, i am in awe of you that looks like a photograph and yet you've just painted that before i eyes you're all saying the same thing i think my wednesday is going to be called in awe of sheena Wednesday uh, <laughs> from uh, Gilmore. Um, absolutely. Joanne is saying, okay, this is one person convinced off to fill my car and become a painter. Yay. Um, absolutely. Uh, well done, Joanne. You won't be sorry. And Denise is saying, I'm loving the black and white. Linda is saying, uh, it's so nice to watch Sheena. And Sherry is saying, this is so beautiful. We are so lucky to have Sheena here to share her knowledge and her skills. So, oh, Sheena, there nice. you go. Such a really lovely Thank messages you. coming through. Uh, and also, Michelle is asked, uh, will Sheena be demoing the lilac at all? Oh, well, we can try and fit it in. I was thinking that we need to show you the rules. We've got to do the rows. And I was thinking of doing the rules with those fabulous Oh, beans. yes. So, so hopefully, fingers crossed, we we'll do the rows. We'll if we've got time at the end, we'll squeeze in the lilac if possible, uh, which will be amazing. Uh, right, we know you're filling those baskets, so we're going to give you a little bit of time to check them out. Uh, but do come back and we'll see you after this. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. So join our family of craft experts with live tutorials and demonstrations every day. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products here on Crafters TV. Get creative and craft along with our amazing deals. Your next craft project is only a click away. Tune in live seven days a week or watch on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook or our YouTube channel. You can chat to us, craft along and meet new friends in our online crafting community. You entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. You all that time with each other! <laughs> You're not through to boot camp. Get off! <laughs> <laughs> There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. So, stop what you're doing and enjoy the fun here on Crafters TV. Here at Crafters TV, it couldn't be easier to get social with us. Whether you're watching on Facebook or YouTube, on your TV or tablet, you can get so close to the action, it's like you're in the studio with us. You can ask questions about products or crafty techniques, Get hints and tips from our expert demonstrators. Plus, share pictures of your crafty makes with our amazing community. Crafters TV, getting you closer to the crafty action. Hello. I'm Ben, and I'm one of the presenters on Crafters TV. So my presenting journey started when I was about 18. I started working at a holiday park here in the UK. Our US viewers might not know it, but there's um, like a holiday park called Butlins. So what's involved with being a presenter? Um, well, my day-to-day -day kind of is um, ensuring I know everything that's on the show. Um, ensuring that the you know the guys that I'm working with obviously um, are happy with everything that's on the show. And I, I kind of feel like. Um, what I do, I'm sort of like the, the glue in the show, if you like, there's a bit of a crafty reference for you. So kind of listening to the guys in the gallery, uh, you know, the producer, the director, I'm sort of always um, listening to what they want me to do whilst the crafters are crafting. So I feel like I'm there as the glue, keeping sort of everything, you know, as it should be. Um, but I also think my job is to, is to have a lot of fun, which I think I do on most days get the viewers interacting, because we always love to hear from our viewers, and I think that's one thing that we do here that you don't get anywhere else, is that is that interaction. So I think on the shows where I get the opportunity to craft, I always try and have a go, because I always think that if I can show that I can do it, as like a real 
newbie base level crafter, then hopefully that'll inspire other people to have a go as well. I'm always inspired by Craig um, because again, he's such a talented crafter as our guys, as I say, all of them are, but he has obviously had a lot to battle with um, as far as his health is concerned. I always say this about Craig, he's, um, you know, if I'm having a bit of a bad day, I always think about Cray because he's not been so well recently, but he'll never come into work and sort of moan about how bad he's feeling and with all of the health issues he's had and you know, the operations he's had over the years. Um, he's a big inspiration because he just gets on with it. Well, I know you're in as much awe as I am with our amazing Sheila Douglas being in the building. Uh, now we're coming up to this last, we're in our last hour of the show uh, and still showing you some amazing things uh, which are absolutely incredible. I do hope you're enjoying the show. Uh, let us know, we are fully social and if you've done Paint Fusion before, uh, send us in your pictures. We might not be able to uh, show them in today's show but we might be able to squeeze them in later. So it'd be lovely to see some of the things that you've been doing with it and if you've been inspired uh, by Sheena in the past so uh, I know lots of you are eagerly waiting now uh, your paint so you can sit back and enjoy the rest of this hour which will be amazing now the stamps themselves are over 60% gone um, these are incredible we've got our simply sweet we've got our daisies our butterflies we've got our berries there's that beautiful lilac which we're hoping to squeeze in. We think this one is going to be next, which honestly you want to see. It's the rose one. Uh, and then we've got our poppies, which is our final one of that collection. Uh, now that whole collection today is £47.49, which is amazing considering you're getting all of those seven stamp sets, uh, which are incredible. Uh, now I think we are going to go back over to Sheena uh, and see this amazing, I mean literally, hold on to your seats and watch this demo because it is so incredible Sheena the rose well we're going to do the rose Debbie but we're going to use the diner paint so you get three diner paints in this uh, set of fabulous um, paints I um, need to find what one more that one is so quick one. question diner yes. paints why are they diner. called and all diners are metallics are they they yes they're like a um, like a they've got a, a a weird like special effect that's the one i'm looking for oh i picked up completely the wrong ones i'm thinking <laughs> well what i'm thinking and uh, you know my eyesight's not the best you know at that age you know you, you know you become your parent and you start looking at stuff like that and you're going and you're trying to yeah try i'm thinking where's it where's it gone what? i had three wrong colors completely they weren't even those ones could have been there. But that still the, is good. That's they're the hour gone. Good. Sheena's still, yeah, that was it. So anyway, I found them. Yay. I don't know what Dinah stands for, but just know that they are amazing. Dynamic. That could be, I think, dynamic. That, that's what it is from now. We, we decided go. just right we here We decided Dinah's for dynamic. Yeah, you heard it from me and Debbie. Executive decision. <laughs> Like Roy, Royal, and all that. We're in brushes. charge of the show. It's our show. They're just R and L's. So the brushes I know are R and L's. R and L, Royal and Nicole. I can't say it fast. <laughs> and dynamic diners. Yes. So you've got three of them, and you've got three these three colours. So here's the thing: you don't even have to put two colours on your brush to get that shaded effect. Yeah. Because this is all again within the folk art, centuries-old techniques that we've been doing. So, well, let's do it. Yeah. Let's just show how you can Absolutely. do that. Why not? Because it looks amazing. So, I'm using um, some of that opaque ink again. I have spa blue and it's the opaque pigment. And I've got the outside of the rose. The rose stamp looks a little bit strange. Like, what's going on? Some of them, like the blackberries and the raspberries or whatever berries you want to make them into, look like what they are. But the rose doesn't because you've got a bit there. Then you've got a bit that looks like nothing there. And then another bit that looks even more confusing there. And what you're doing is you're building the layers of the rose. I think it's what makes it so wow. That's, yeah. and that had to, I had to think that. So mm -hmm. to make that, I had to paint a rose freehand, then work out how I could make it into a stamp for you. And that's how, because you're going to paint each layer, then add the next stamp, and then paint another layer and add the less stamps. There's only three layers. But what I'm going to use to do this, I'm going to use this, um, this one here, which is um, uh, red-blue iridescent. So basically what it does, it's going to show you red 
um, if it's on like white cord but blue on a black cord so this is why just use them on a black cord so we're going to squeeze some of that out it's absolutely gorgeous we'll start with just that and see what we how far that goes and I'm going to use that um, half inch flat brush wet it um, so that it's just got it, it feels wet but it's holding its shape and the water's not dripping now here's the difference I'm going and I'm kind of like I'm kind of nudging up to it it's like oh and then I'm off again. Then I'm going, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, and I'm off again. Look at that. It's like a kid, you know, that's teasing another kid. Like, ah, I'm off. <laughs> like, ah, I'm off again. So I'm literally just nudging up and picking up that colour on the edge of the brush like that. So what we'll do is see how much we've got on there. And, yep, we need a little bit more. Bear with. I need a little bit more. And then pull back a bit more. Just need a little bit more of that. It was a little bit too much moisture on the brush because it's a matte cord. It's a shiny cord this time. And then I'm going over and I'm rippling. And so what you're getting is you're getting blue into red oh, on wow. the edge of the cord. That's when that amazing. dries, you'll see better. And so again, you'll get the feel of it. You might have to paint one petal to paint because all cords got different like absorbency. So you might have to say, do I need a bit more water? Do I need a little bit less? But basically, that's what you're looking for is to get that graduation, that, that frilly edge where you've got that pop of colour right at the edge of the petal. I'm going to paint this bottom one next just so it doesn't do that pinwheel thing, like I said, like that. Now, that's nice. We've got a nice, quite defined edge on that one. And then, can you see how little paint I'm using? Yeah, And absolutely. notice how little water I'm using for this one. Again, because it's a shiny cord. So you can paint on Murray card, you can paint on anything like that, but, and as we said, glassware and things as well, but you'll find you use less water because it's not an absorbent surface. So you just, um, you, then the paint's going to move across that surface easier than it would if it was an absorbent card. So now we've got that really pretty, Mm, so is it picking nice. up the blue there can yeah, you see it you see yeah that? it's yeah. gorgeous isn't it so that's the first layer i'm going to clean the brush a little bit we're going to um actually we probably don't even need to um need to dry it we'll just do it now so we'll pick the next layer up which is this one here which is like um kind of strange shape that one but that's we're going to pop that on the on the rocker block with a cross hair so we know what the middle is and i'm going to take that ink pad again and We'll now ink that up and pop it so kind of it's in the centre. So it's in the centre of that rose there. Um, and actually, I'm going to pop it there so that it, it mirrors the top of that petal there. So that one at the, on an angle. There, there you go. That's the next thing. So you see how you couldn't do it because you would have painted over it with your double loading or triple loading the brush. Well, you? I would never have known yeah. how to put that extra bit yeah. on. When you uh, come to, because um, you obviously draw these stamps, yeah. how do you come with that inspiration of layering them up like that? Do you, is it, it just your just, you're yes, looking at a flower? From a teaching perspective, yeah. I had to think, how could I do that? Because if I was painting it, that's the way I would build enough paint in it, Debbie. Mm -hmm. yep. So I thought, well, but if you start with one stamp you're going to cover up the bit that you need to see so how can i pull that apart so that you can s you make it so that it shows people where to paint but you don't lose that when you when you're actually doing it so that was basically it um so that one there and then we'll pop another one now you can paint two or three or however many you want under under here as well um you know if you can paint as many petals as you want on a rose but i usually find this amount works quite nicely and then pop that like that and it's just that guideline it's incredible like that. and so we've got the next layer painted and i love the way you've got the blue into wow. the pink on that <laughs> it's such a, a fabulous ethereal kind of look totally different the um the green looks amazing on the black and then the last layer is this one here that looks a little bit strange it looks like a kind of like a a, a teacup got teacup gone wrong but the basically <laughs> that's going to form the center of this rose and that bit's going to come around that petal at the top you'll see it makes sense when i when i stamp it it looks a bit like a kidney bean yes like a little yeah <laughs> happy little bean it's a happy little a kidney bean. bean you know like you're happy putting chilies and things so it's got what that I'm, sort of shape yeah, what i'm doing <laughs> debbie is i'm lining that so it kind of fits around that top petal there like that okay so now what i'm gonna do that is yeah absolutely so i'm gonna pop this there like this 
And that's just, gone such a long way, hasn't it? Hasn't it? That tiny little bit of paint. And now I'm going to do the opposite. So I'm going to pop that there and I'm going to come round and do it like that. So now it looks like it's wrapping around the top of that bit of the flower. You know where the petals all kind of yeah. wrap around each other. And then we'll pop a little bit here. Uh, maybe a little bit there. See the way I'm just using it at a very sharp angle and twisting the brush a little bit. This is where it takes a little bit more practice, but you'll get there. And then you've got, and what you can do once you've done that and you realise that's how the middle works, you could just paint a little frilly rosebud by doing that same arc. So that's in fact wow. what we've done in the middle. <laughs> that's crazy. And then you paint that there in the middle. <laughs> And then you're going to put some little foliage around that and you've got pretty little rosebuds to go. But this is how paint fusion gives you that little skill bit to know, oh, right, yeah, I can do that. That'll work there. And then, I, and then we're going to pop some leaves on there as well, Debbie. That's amazing. So that there, I like that. See how I twisted the brush? Yeah. And now you've got that really pretty electric blue. Look at that. That's and pink. Amazing. And then we'll put some leaves on it. So clever. It's effective. That's just one one colour on a bush. So it, it's, just, it's a different technique. Right, so the leaves. Should we do some leaves? Yes, absolutely. All right. All right. So, so we're going to use a smaller leaf. I'll pop that there. And I am looking for the ink pad. That was the looking motion there. 65% of the like stock that. has gone, Sheena. Sorry? 65% wow. of the stock has gone of those stamps. So uh, for wow. £7.49 or $58.99, you're saving 15% on them, which is amazing. And I'm not surprised they are selling like hotcakes because uh, your demo today, Sheena, have just been out of this world. Oh, thank you. It's been lovely to do it again because I've, I've missed it. It's been a lovely, it's a lovely thing to do. Um, and it's one of those skills that when you learn it, as Julie will tell you on my team, you don't forget it it's with you for life once you do mm -hmm. it it's like riding a bike you get back on you go oh yeah that's great that's yep. just how it goes and it's just that memory um you know of um the muscle memory kind of thing and so i suppose it's like anything else everything else comes into play new things uh, aspire um and we forget about things yes, don't we absolutely. and then we bring it out again and think wow why have i not been doing this for the last couple of years yeah absolutely debbie and the thing is as if you do sell your crafting products this is a fabulous way because everything you do is going to look so different to the one before because as soon as you've got freehand painting even though you've got the stamps underneath it they're going to have a little bit different look to the one bef the one you did before that. Um, like I said, when I used to teach workshops, everyone's um, card um, or project looked different in the workshop. Even though you were all following the same instruction, um, it was it just looked different. You know, different. Every, you'll have like a different look, and I could tell who's who had painted each week, whichever yeah. particular project, because they seemed to just have that kind of look about them and it was really cool and there wasn't one that was better than another they were just different so we pop that on there like that and you can see how now we've got the leaves kind of it you know whichever one you want to be on top just paint that one last and all i'm doing is making sure i'm catching that little bit of that um this stamp the ink i don't want the ink to show and when I've just reloaded the brush, just making sure I've got it more to one side, and that goes to the outside, and using hardly any of this paint. Notice how I'm turning this around, and then just ziggy zag like that. And then you can, um, well, we'll put a little bit, so you can use the same brush and maybe and do a little just side of the brush to create little like calyxes around your, yeah, around amazing. your buds. It looks really pretty like that and it's so it's pretty. as if the light's just catching them isn't it as if yeah. there's moonlight or something absolutely and you just it's a that really ethereal kind of nighttime look i was so pleased when i saw these diners were in mm. there because i thought oh i've never painted paint fusion with diners before and um i've done different background techniques with them having on shows and things but not um not you know the, the florals or or berries um so yeah very happy camper and then if you want you can add little oh, let's try see what the blue what looks like in there shall we a little bit blue ink. absolutely so when i'm using the round brush you want a little bit of um 
uh, you want them runnier, but not too runny because on a shiny surface it won't stick if it's too runny. So I'm going to just basically have to try it and see. And are you painting on to uh, Centura Pearl? Yes, it's the yes. black Centura Pearl, I which is gorgeous, what it was. isn't just, it? Uh, Lovely. Um, Colette has just asked, she missed what you said. So yeah. yes, that's the black Centura Pearl. Absolutely. Wow. So pop that on there, like that. And it just gives it another little pretty extra element. Then all these little things are just little things you can add as you go in if you want. Um, it's like neon lights, isn't it? It does look like that, a special effect. It really is cool with those paints. And then there you go, there you have your... You could do the northern lights with these, Sheena. Oh, wouldn't they look amazing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember when we went, oh, well, there's a story there, they're not. <laughs> So the first time Debbie and I worked together, we went to went Gothenburg, to Sweden. didn't we? Yes, we did, yes. And we, well, had a great time. We, we did we loved have it. the best time. And I, at the time, I was demonstrating a special effect with Northern Lights to look really, look really cool. I yeah. can't remember what paint I used. I've used various different ones together, mm -hmm. but these would do a great these job. These would be amazing. Amazing. Yeah, yeah if we do that again. But everyone there was loving that so much. That was the thing I did. I think I must have painted you about Northern 500 Lights Northern, Lights Northern Lights in the, in the days <laughs> we were there. Yeah. I was like, so how's your day with it? Well, I've painted about another hundred Northern Lights in yeah. the last hour. Yeah. <laughs> that was very funny. Was, uh, <laughs> at least people were liking them. They, they, they knew they would see them. Yeah, Absolutely. So. Um, just a quick one from, um, where was I reading that? Um, I just read it and uh, it's gone. Let me go through them just quickly. Um, so Pamela is saying, Kathy's saying, wow, wow, glad I put my order in. Pamela is saying, okay, I'm ordering the show. When my husband finds out that I'm getting into painting, he's going to flip his wig and he's bald. <laughs> and he's bald. <laughs> Very funny. Um, uh, Coletta is saying, I'm glad that the stamps are photopolymer. Yes, we haven't mentioned yeah. that. Uh, well spotted. They are photopolymer, so they are really good quality yeah, stamps, which is amazing. Um, oh, oh, here it is. So Di is asking, Sheena, if you could yes. explain again exactly the amount that you put uh, the, in the spritzer with the glycerin. Yes, absolutely. That, so that Definitely. would be good. Thank so you. two things I would add to your little bundle of um, your kit for your, for your paint fusion in is the um this is the fine glue applicator so two of those you get don't you in a pack and you get a little pin for the top which i love for my glue I've, I've bought those for years yeah. love them but this case we're using them as a little um extender like um to make the keep the paint wetter and make it thin it down a little bit by putting water up to maybe about if i was making a new batch i'd put water up to about there that you can see and then fill the rest up with glycerin you need a re really quite dilute mix mm. of glycerin. If you put too much in, like if you did 50-50, you're going to change the sticking power of your paint. You're going to break down the binder. It's going to affect that, yeah? So you just need a little bit. And what that's going to do is just when you're painting, you just pop a little drop of it. It's so easy to control. And it's going to help your paint stay, one, be a little bit thinner so it's a little bit more pliable and it's going to keep it wetter a bit longer to stop it drying out and the same mixture goes into here so you would fill it up to maybe a centimeter from the top and then uh, with water and then fill the last maximum centimeter with um, glycerin give it a good shake and that there is what you're going to now and again just spritz I, you know these paints have been on all day some of them have been there all day and they're, they're still workable oh, that's that amazing. is amazing for yeah. acrylic paint um you know some people will put them in like a plastic they'll make a wet palette they'll have like a say you had like in the plastic storage box mm -hmm. you know you used to have the parties when yeah. my mum had yes. when I was a kid she had all of them every shade bottom <laughs> you get um and you could put a like a, a flat sponge in the bottom like you know those kitchen sponges those thin kitchen sponges yes. that you want there yeah dampen it squeeze out put a little bit of kitchen parchment on and you can work from the box with your paints like that and put the lid on ah. and they'll stay wet for days like that yes but for working i love this palette i love the fact that you can just clean it up because you're using so little yep. spritz it till you're done and then wipe it up amazing it's brilliant yep. yeah absolutely amazing so hopefully um that helped um 
Uh, Terry is saying the Dyna paints are gorgeous. Yes, they absolutely are. Joy is saying I love that we can still have our own look and signature, um, uh, if you will. Um, these make it extra special. And Eve is saying mm -hmm. ah, this is, that is absolutely gorgeous. I want to try this. I am definitely um, have to keep the mantra practice uh, as it makes perfect running in my head. Yeah, absolutely. And it is one of those things. takes a little bit of practice, but um, you've got those cheat sheets on every single one, uh, which which is absolutely amazing. Now, the next thing that we've got, if you want the paints, uh, we've got those acrylic paints for you still in stock. And these are a great price. Sheena's been working with these right through all her demos. You're getting 20 of the 20 mil tubes. You're also getting 100 mil of the white paint and a brush in this set. It's such a good set to have. Um, these are going to be dispatched just a little bit longer. Uh, we're dispatching on the 29th of April, so just over a week's time. So that's not too long to wait and they'll be being sent out to you. Uh, we've also got the Royal and Lang Nickel brushes. There's a pack of five that get in this collection. Uh, $7.99 is an absolute bargain or $11.95, uh, saving 20% in those ones. So uh, uh, member build a bundle, that is on the website. If you go to those categories, uh, you can uh, click on that build a bundle, uh, choose three items and uh, type in the BYB20 at the checkout. You'll get an additional 20% off of all those goods is on there as well um, so uh, really really amazing show that we're having um, so uh, Sheena are we able yeah. to go to the lilacs um, bead crafting oh, I'm yes. doing the bit that we've seen so I'm stamping the lilac out first oh, so that no it can, while all. you were doing that I thought well I'll get ahead a bit oh, and brilliant. we'll do that bit Absolutely. so that so, it yes. means that it gives us more chance of getting if not the full thing finished enough to show you how it's going to work yeah so yes absolutely we'll pop that there and we'll pop that there so right we've got a leaf there and we've got the lilac now it's really quite pale um but it's enough that i can see it you're obviously going to get your sheet and it's going to tell you how to build that up so what i need first of all is a dark a blue um kind of color so we've got here what was this um yeah dark ultramarine ultramarine blue is definitely dark ish and it's bluish it says on the label. <laughs> I'm guessing that'll do it then, eh? The clues are there. All the all the appropriate words were on that thing. So this is nice. Is that sh that sheet? Um, yeah. It's layering them up, isn't it? Yes. Yes. yes so it teaches absolutely. You from the beginning, right to how you get the. It perfect does look flower. like a lilac as well. You can use that standalone yeah, as a absolutely. lilac. All you've got to join is the yeah. little bit of the uh, tweety bit to to join it together. Um, so we've got that. Um, yeah, I think we're good. We're maybe try a little bit of paint grey maybe but we'll see if we want it a little bit darker that'll just darken that blue down a little bit so what we're going to do is we're going to use that brush that came with your paints and we need it clean which I didn't do but I'll clean it now and when you're cleaning this one when you're cleaning your other brushes be really careful don't be rough with them so it sounds like I'm I'm pouncing the brush like this I'm not when I'm cleaning the other brushes I'm cleaning them and I'm pouncing them on the side like this look at that What's happened to my brush, Debbie? Look at that. <laughs> it's like my thumb. <laughs> what? It looks like, yeah. Whose brush is this then? I wonder. <laughs> a little bit, bit too much, much pressure. The power of my mind alone has moved. I thought, like, oh, what? <laughs> Metal bending as well and not even knowing it. So anyway, but when, when you're cleaning this brush, it doesn't matter if you go like that because it's messier the better. So, but we do want to dry. So I'm going to take some blue and I'm going to pounce where this lilac is right like that i love that electric blue it looks gorgeous really pretty and that's that's the base coat so it's one of those ones where i'm going to have to speed dry it because then we're going to stamp on the top because this is putting a good color underneath for the other color to show up on does that make sense yeah and we'll pop a little bit now of this lighter just in bits like this so and it gives it that as well a bit of form and texture even that starts to look like a light can you see just by that little scruffy brush That's amazing. it starts to build like as if it's that little um you know movement to it we'll pop a little bit of dark under here right i'm going to leave that there um the leaf we can do while oh well while that's dry and let's paint the leaf shall we should we do that? that's a big leaf that one so we're going to do it slightly different leaf we'll do a, a, a wibbly wobbly instead of a Ziggy zaggy. <laughs> all right. So all again, technical terms. all the jargon. Yeah, absolutely. So we're going to use this, um, the half inch brush again. And I'm going to pick up, open this 
paint's still okay. Yeah, it's still okay. And the white. And I'm going to work it into my brush like that. And if it feels a little bit, because it is, it's been there all day virtually, I'm going to... This is where you get your little spritz bottle comes in. And I'm going to work that into that so that it's really nice and good to go. If you want to load this, really load it quite, quite well because it's a big, bro a big leaf and I'm on a matte card this time. So, you know, when I said about the shiny card, yeah. it doesn't need to be mm -hmm. as, um, you know, as much water in it. With this one, a little bit more, it's going to help me. But that, we'll try with that. So I'm going to start at the top and I'm going to come down and I'm going to wibbly wobble like this. Wibbly wobble and then lift up. And then we'll do, we'll load that again, put a little bit there and then start then do a wibbly wobble. And I'm not worried about it too much. I'm trying, I'm pressing down quite heavy with this brush because I want to, it's a big leaf, but we've pretty much got that That's covered clever. in one. And if the, in the center, if I need to, you can just, touch it in there a little bit like that so that's the leaf ready for the lilac that's amazing that's so amazing <laughs> so what we need to do i do need to speed dry this lilac debbie if you right can yes no problem at all so um, or something yeah abigail is saying that sheena this is absolutely stunning thank you so much for all you guys do i'm learning so much uh Di is saying thank you sheena you are just amazing and suzette is saying uh what was the ink pad that you used to stamp these with the ink pad i use the so opaque the pigment? pigment yes so our opaque pigment ink pads um are what this what sheena's been using throughout all the demos just to get that outline because it actually doesn't really matter some onto the white cards that you've been using are water reactive ink pads so i think whatever you've got in your stash as long as it's a, a lighter color so you're not seeing it it's just that guideline of those stamps but if you were using them to just color with your alcohol pens or your watercolors um you could just use whatever relevant ink pad goes with those absolutely cheers debbie something that as debbie said isn't going to show a lot um right so back to that ink pad so now I hope this shows over this. If it doesn't, I know the brush stroke, so you'll find that the more you do, the less you have to depend on the detail stamps. Yeah. It's more the shape. Do you know what that makes? Yeah. So I'm going to pop this over there. I think I've got it over the top. And then, yeah, we've got that pretty good. Right, so we've got the detail on the top now. Wow. Um, can you pick up the texture on that? Can you see? Yeah, it's really it's cool, amazing. isn't it? So now I'm going to use that smaller brush, that um, quarter inch flat brush, and I'm going to use probably um, a, maybe a purple and pink. So I'm going to pop a little bit out like that there, and I'm going to pop a little bit of this gorgeous rose colour. Pop there, like there. And we've got, I'm going to pop a little bit of fresh white out there as well. Just see how you use the white a lot. That extra white is such a good thing to have. So now we're just going to do little, little um, brush strokes, like kind of on the edge of the brush, on the chisel of the brush. We don't even have to double load them. We can just put a little bit of piss, put a bit of pink on that one, like that. Load it up, and then touch a bit of white, and then we'll start painting little, kind of four petaled little flowers like that. So we'll pop that in there a bit of that and you seriously life is too short to try and um paint over exactly every little one i've got on there you really yeah you won't, a, you won't see it and b it's like it doesn't matter yeah. just use it as a guide it just looks amazing um, I didn't expect you to do that though. I was looking at it thinking you were just going to stipple over the top. So actually yeah. seeing you put these little petals look amazing. <laughs> it does look pretty good to be honest, yeah. just like that. It does look, it works, doesn't it? And that's the thing is if it, if it works, you can adapt your own style. Yeah. This is, this is a painting for everyone. Painting for the people, folk art, that's exactly what it is. Um, and that's what you're doing. And so anything you add to the mix is allowed. It's all good. There's not one right way to get to the end result. Yeah. Whichever you need to do to get there is brilliant. You can put a little bit darker colour in there as well. And a little bit of that white. And then pop that there. 
70% of the stamps are wow. now gone. Wow, we have had a busy couple of hours. Um, if you want to get them, make sure you grab them with 70% stock gone. They could be gone by the end of the day. Wow, thanks everyone. Yeah, it's yeah, amazing, Please you're isn't enjoying it? it. It's just a lovely thing to do. And it's the thing that, like I say, once you, once you do it, once you click, you go, ah. Some people just do it straight away. Sorry, yep. just saying. Yeah, it was like, oh, I'll have a go. It's like, oh, <laughs> she's done it first time. Yeah, she did. And then she was, um, our mum and dad were painting. She had, um, she sent me pictures when we first launched it of a round a dining room table with the family there <laughs> doing paint fusion. So yeah, she was Sarah it. can do anything that she puts her mind to. Yeah. But can you see how that's building that yeah, up now absolutely. to look like it looks texture? It looks absolutely incredible. And you just keep going. And that's, that's, that's it. Just four and little petals. Lilac. And if you just keep, like maybe have less on the brush as well, it'll start looking a little bit more. So in the dark bits, ideally you want less white if you can. So put less, I see I'm speed demo there. I'm just mm. using what's on the brush and I'm actually, it actually looks a bit better. So by um, kind of doing a little bit, you see, and then lighter towards the top, it looks like you're picking up more of the highlight yeah, at the top beautiful. of the flower. It's really lovely. And I think with that black background, it almost makes it feel like it's at night time and the yeah. light is just catching Pretty, all those isn't it? amazing petals. You could yeah. probably do that with the diners because you've got mm. that, um, those other really lovely colours there. Um, you do that electric blue background and yeah, just a case of, right, it's not the, you know, it's, it's, I haven't, taken too long overdoing it but it just shows how you, even if you hurry because time you, you can still make it look pretty good considering that was just a a quick version of it let I me think it looks paint amazing. a little bit of a branch in there because you you do want it to look like it's joined to the leaf so we'll pop a little bit of brown on and we'll pop that just so it's quite loose on there quite runny and then we'll drag it through a little bit of white and then If you make it look a little bit ziggy zaggy, oh, it looks yeah. a little bit more more natural and a bit a bit woody. Very good. Yeah. And we'll you can it's up to you how much or how little you wanna add to making them, you know, a little bit more refined. The more you do, the more kind of you'll have a play around with this. Um and that's the fun of it. Just amazing absolutely amazing so if you are like me and have totally been inspired by these paints today uh, the paint fusion seven piece floral stamp collection um, is 47 pounds 49 um, the platinum price is very good at 37.99 um, absolutely amazing you are loving them which is why we're over 70 percent on um, and and sheena i mean you're not giving yourself um credit because for a speed crafting i think that i look like i mean it would take me hours to probably to do that on but i love the fact that i know that i can achieve that as you can achieve that and the comments are showing it all that they're absolutely loving it um ali is saying she really enjoyed watching sheena painting again um i love her hugs from ali um uh TJ is saying, how do you clean the multimedia mat after you're painting? Oh, well, you know what I did? Uh, that was my question. I found it easier to let the paint dry on it and oh, it peels cool. off. Peel it, off. it literally just peels yeah. off. It just like, because it's plasticky. So I would leave it overnight, peel off as much as you can. What's left in there, I just put some soapy water in the sink, okay. like dishwashing soap, yep. popped it in and give it a swish around and amazing. that was it. And it comes yeah. off great and it doesn't stain or anything. It's yeah, brilliant. which is amazing. Yeah, yeah. it's so good. Good. So yes, just uh, either peel it off or just add some soapy water and clean it. No problem whatsoever. Uh, right, we're going to head back to Sheena just to have a, um, a look at the demos that she's done throughout this last couple of hours so you can get your vote in before the end of the show. Uh, it's going to be a tough one. She's done some amazing oh. demos. Uh, and I think, the, I think the last one is going to be quite a good contender because it's absolutely beautiful. Um, so number one. Number one. Oh, berries. that's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. the berries, very there nice. You go. Berries, mm, there you go, with a little bit lovely. of a gold embellishment added there. Berries, so that's number the thumb one. Thumb and the pencil eraser demo. 
And then we've got the oh, daisies. I, I can't get over that. Card. I cannot get over that. And that's one. easy to do. The daisies are really easy as well. The, the most tricky bit is these are leaf, but the more roughly they are, the better. That's the fun thing about daisy, yeah. um, the daisy leaf. Then oh, we've got gorgeous whoa, rose. Look at number that three. For special effects. That's the single loaded brush, just the um, on one side of the brush. So it gives it that um, that fluted kind of look, but with Dinah paints that are in this paint set on black. Uh, since you're a black pearl so amazing and then the one we've just done the speed lilac wow <laughs> i don't know how you're going to choose so number four one two three or four the choice is yours so get your voting in uh, i'm just going to recap on the beautiful stamps that you're absolutely loving over 70 percent of the stock has gone um our first one is the poppy we've then got that gorgeous rose that Sh Sh sheena showed us using then the lilac that um is absolutely stunning which sheena did a real speedy demo that looked amazing uh, the berries that's been used as well throughout this last couple of hours we've then got that gorgeous butterfly the beautiful daisy that just i can't get over that one and then our last one is our simply sweet so all seven of those designs um platinum price 37.99 and these are the types of things that you could be being creative with um, whether you go onto some slate so you're making your own table mats whether you go onto your mdf so you've got your wooden plaques of your home decor uh, whether you want to make a bookmark um just with your general cardstock that is absolutely stunning um, but then we go on to some just beautiful designs. Sheena's design team um, is uh, absolutely incredible. These, um, uh, they just look in, in just amazing. That rose is stunning. I think that's the one people are going to want to practice and practice till they get it right because the wow factor of that is going to be absolutely amazing. Oh, and just a bit of a heads up next uh, week. Uh, we've got the background. Sheena's going to be showing us how to create this amazing cracked effect background uh, next Wednesday, so you'll want to tune in for that. Uh, making cards with that sort of effect on the front. Those daisies are absolutely gorgeous. Uh, what about some door hangers for anybody's bedroom, which would look beautiful? Uh, gift giving. I just think that is absolutely stunning, doing that onto the front of a little notebook. Um, and then just one more there uh, with that lavender. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, right, we've got demo on of the show in you have been voting and telling us how difficult it has been to uh, to vote uh, it's number two number two was, was that the daisies the daisies yes. the daisies I yeah. thought that might be the daisies, daisies yes because yeah. uh, that is it's just stunning I think what shocks me about that is uh, like I said before and I'll repeat it again if I hadn't seen you do that I would have said that was a photograph yeah you said that yeah. it's just so how simple it was it's as well. so simple it I, it's so absolutely yeah. simple stunning so uh, yes well done on that one um right sheena we've got beautiful beginnings tonight yes. a little bit different for you what you regularly do well it's going to be coloring yes it's got to be coloring if absolutely. i'm there and yeah. we're going to be using the aqua markers yes. and uh, yeah um so mostly coloring from me a bit of die cutting and i but amazing. love a bit of coloring and mixing yeah and absolutely well so i can't wait for that it's going to be amazing thank you for the last couple Cheers, of hours lovely yes, thank you thanks everyone super amazing uh thank you for all your lovely comments you've been so kind and so gracious and uh, and sent in some uh, uh, really nice messages uh, we love the fact that you're loving paint fusion as much as we are um, I don't know about you but I'm definitely going to get myself uh, painting that's for sure so uh, uh, but we're going to do it all over again in a couple of hours with uh, beautiful beginnings so pop back then at 6 p.m. and we will see you then bye <laughs>